Okay, so welcome to raid 24. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're on raid 24 now. They, uh, decided to, uh, come on out here and, uh, see what kind of damage they could do. Now I want to point out all the vehicles that we have in the park, along with all the personnel. As they, uh, rummage through things, because... This is Trish. She makes eighty thousand dollars a year to uh, find a means for people to get off the street and get them into housing. But during her off time, while I'm supposed to be working to do that purpose, she runs around the island and uh, acts like a little high school bully by allowing some of her workers to be violent while they all go to steal things from everyone. So, hashtag Hawaii Vacation. Brought to you by Trish. <laughs> and down on the end there you see a gentleman that's working very hard to pick up anything he can. Really hard. That'd be uh, Wesley. Chun. He has a white hard hat on down there. He's walking away, way down there. And he's making a hundred thousand and some odd dollars. He's a civil engineer that uh, he finds that on his, I guess you'd say, off time while working, he likes to live out his high school fantasy of being a, one of the bullies that he probably knew on the other side of being a bully, so, you know, whatever, <laughs> but he holds his little tin ring, and he tells everybody that he's very proud of his tin ring, um, because it's, it represents his character and, and, uh, knowledge, so, if you two would like to be able to get paid to steal from people, rather well, Become a civil engineer. Go to school, become a civil engineer, and then you become a legal uh, thief. <laughs> Hashtag Hawaii Vacation. Okay, so they gathered up a whole mess of stuff, threw it in the center there. See, so they got one, two, three, four chairs, a cooler, um, about it. And, uh, little tiny odd and end stuff, but for the most part, it's a few chairs and a cooler. And, uh, so now they're going to re-tag. Okay. Now the tagging part is uh, the first part of a raid. It's what they do to run around and harass people at first. You know, it's, it's like the guy saying, uh, uh, give me your food money. And you're like, I don't have your food money. So he, like, pulls you upside down and harasses you or whatever and tries to scare the hell out of you. Well, their form of doing it is giving you a 24-hour warning that if this stuff isn't relocated or moved or whatever, that they will come and just steal it from you. <laughs> you know, it's their only tactic of being able to, uh, in their words, help the houseless. To help the house houseless, you must become violent and steal their stuff. So, and that's why we've been here for so long. Uh, God, I can't even... I don't even know exactly how many days we've been here now. It's 200 and like 20 something 
possibly 230, I don't know, so it's up there, but anyhow, welcome to OHNO, <laughs> the longest encampment of the world. <laughs> Now, in the second part, that's what they're doing today, is they come along, and they, uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four squad cars, that's Wesley Chun there, standing on the wall, being professional about stealing, and, uh, rummaging through garbage, that's what $100,000 lets you do, <laughs> to get a civil engineer degree, but yeah, we got one, two, three, four uh, squad cars, three uh, huge thick branches that you see up on some of these trees. But, uh, yeah, that's what they come here for a few chairs. <laughs> they need that monster for their, for four chairs and the cooler and plastic tub and, you know. <laughs> It's a good thing that they came because I was getting pretty tired. <laughs> Been up all night working. <laughs> Now this right here, pretty interesting. It says, do not enter. This is my legal address, and I'm not allowed to be in this area. So, that's something I've been questioning on what I should do about. I don't know if it's worth my energy fighting them on it. But, uh... Makes for an interesting scenario. Because the city and county of Honolulu and the state all agree and recognize this is my legal address and my uh, office space. <laughs> Okay, so Trish is now talking to him about a TV. It's clearly freedom of speech. Good girl, Trish. Overzealous uh, Wesley Chum was just uh, told to leave that TV alone. <laughs> See, now that's an interesting topic, right? We got these officers here. They're supposed to be out there protecting our public. And, uh, since they're not out there, we almost had an accident right here next to us. <laughs> and, like, all the DFM, Department of Facility Maintenance, they're supposed to be ones that fix the potholes in a road, but if you look at a road, I don't know if you can see with this video quality. They're all tore up and dilapidated. And here we're one of the richest area, you know. <laughs> There's billions that run through this town, right? Like, it's nothing on a daily basis. And we can't keep a street together because, well, they're... Yeah, yeah. How's it? But, uh, they're, uh, wasting their time running around being high school bullies instead of fixing our roads. 
All because of the importance of just a few chairs. You know? I mean, if you don't get your chairs, uh... <laughs> well, then... You didn't have a very good work day, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> now, you see that we got that monstrosity sitting here blocking the road. We have a police vehicle that's blocking the road. And we have yet another park department vehicle down there that's blocking the road. And their purpose for doing this is to take those items that they picked up and they're crushing them. They're using a garbage truck to crush them. That's an awful lot of fuel and a very expensive piece of equipment there to walk away with a few chairs and a cooler and a plastic cup. So, you know, the, how they've located their funds to help the houseless community on this island doesn't really make sense when the state spends millions to give to Honolulu to help people get off the street and become active, productive citizens for the city and county. They feel that it's cheaper on them to do this type of activity and help no one. Not repair the streets. Not go out and protect and serve. It's more important, cost efficient to steal items and commit violence and harassment on the citizens. <laughs> Hawaii vacation. The fascist dump truck. Yes, fascist dump trucks, yep. <laughs> So yeah, now they're blocking the road. You know, if you, uh, you well, you can't really see their expressions, but everybody's all looking around like, what the hell? Because it is so important to take a few chairs. <laughs> I mean, the amount of the amount of work that this does for an individual. I mean, I can see how much jobs this has created to steal furniture and crush it. I mean, what do we got? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 individuals here right now. All with variances in uh, how much they're making. Oh, 14. We got 14. Uh, you know, different variances of pay grades, but a couple of which is making a really nice buck for this area. You can live pretty comfortably, you know. So, uh, anybody out there looking to go to college, ask them how to become a DFM uh, worker for Honolulu. It's the pimp job to have here. Hashtag Hawaii vacation. <laughs> Oh, we got another dude that's used trying to pick up that TV. Oh, look at this, look at this. Now Trish just told them not to do this. But someone else grabs it real quick. Because we don't want to dirty Wesley Chun's hands. Because he's already got himself in enough trouble. So now it's, hey, hey, there she is too. She's like, wait a minute, what's going on? Where's the TV? Oh, oh, you were supposed to take that TV? No. It's a little tactic, it's a little game that they do. They just do stuff because they want to. They don't care. Because they get paid so well. It created a job. <laughs> it just creates a means for people to get off the street. <laughs> we have media out here today. <laughs> Interesting. that was quick and easy you figure what do we got uh, 15 minutes to successfully steal from people crush it so they can make thousands of dollars and 
screw up the whole funding for helping people get off the street while blocking traffic and almost had an accident here because they're not out there doing their jobs and and uh they're like oh wow we did that too fast okay let's stay in here for a bit sort of like a you know okay so we just had what they took the free speech television yeah they took the television but uh sorry about that I noticed that this thing had a little bit of a skip in there uh they came running up pretty fast so we didn't have time to get my uh external uh, internet running for this but uh still on a recap there they're all just standing around now because it took them approximately 15 minutes to successfully steal from people and crush it and it surprised them so they all had to stand here for a little bit and discuss with each other about what a good, great job that they did on helping the houseless community be able to get off the street by crushing their things and you know harassing them so now we're going to go on down and we're going to see what kind of havoc they're planning on doing down the street there we have a houseless community that lives on the other side of the park kind of seeking shelter because it's like the safest place on the island right now if you're houseless so they're all starting to congregate here hoping that uh things go a little bit easier on them compared to being outside our camp so let's find out what's going on down here <laughs> nice wonderful cop cars and park department vehicles <laughs> channel 2 Okay, okay. Now we're going to see how this guy makes his thousands of dollars. Thousands, thousands paid this guy to do this. This is exciting work. He's like a scientist. <laughs> oh. Job well done. We fixed the road and helped the houseless community off the street. Can you believe it? Just that little stroke of a clip, clip, we fixed our streets and helped the houseless community off the streets. Wonderful job, guys. Wonderful job. Thank you be, for being such a good citizen and worker for the community. You helped a lot of individuals off the street today. <laughs> I love how the road is so much smoother now because of that, too. <laughs> well, it is a lot to sleep by the roadside, and they're not, they're not supposed to be impeded by that, so what are they going to do? <laughs> they'll rope it off and just keep you in there but I don't know I wonder what happens when you get out and, and they start yelling at you for being there is that kind of like entrapping you or something I don't know there has to be a law against that right they can't just cage you <laughs> I 
Andy, keep him off. Keep him off the video. Uh oh. Okay, hundred and some thousand dollars a year. He realizes this, this thing was tagged. <laughs> dun dun dun. Should we fix a road? Should we help someone off the street? Or should we steal their stuff? Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> Civil engineer, hard at work, Wesley Chunk. Dum, 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 dum. Do do do. Okay, we have uh, other people that they're wanting to harass. Okay, we have Trish going through her photos, these expensive photos. She's determining, is any of this the same? Is this person a repeat offender of being houseless against the city and county of Honolulu? This is a crime. We can't have houseless people. Our society doesn't create this. We shouldn't even have to do anything about it. My whole job is based on finding people homes, but no. I want to steal their stuff. There's ants. Oh, jeez. I think the ants have been here for I think we need biohazard for this. Trish doesn't want to be around ants. This is a... This is important. This is. I think it's quite ironic that guy's wearing it. This is scientifically weird. There's ants. <laughs> Anybody have a fogger for Trish? Anybody have a fogger for Trish? She wants to steal someone's stuff, but there's ants. <laughs> I wish I had a kind of raid for her. <laughs> Dun 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 we're being very nice today. Don't threaten people when you're not able to do anything, Wesley Chun. You're a street repairman, not lord of the police. Please, tone down. My grandfather told me I was bad for morale. I should, I should just have paper out of you all the time. How are you doing today? Pretty good, Ben. So we found, they found stuff that they're finding offensive because it's been here for over 24 hours. Um, 
Trish has expressed concern that some of the items here may have ants on it. And, uh... Excuse me. Oh. Trish, they're going to put the tape around so if you guys can come outside of the tape, please. You know, you guys are lucky I'm being nice today. I, I, I mean, seriously. Because I, you know this doesn't mean anything to anyone, right? There is no legal right to do something like that. But, I mean, if you want to push it, I guess this is where they got it, man. I didn't push anything. I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, because he wants to change it again. See, you guys want to keep changing the rules. Well, you know, if I keep moving and you keep moving, Wes, I, you don't tell me nothing, Wes. You don't tell me nothing. No, no, no. You don't tell me nothing like that. You're impeding on my space. Damn. How's it going, man? Not much. So, uh, again, they're rummaging through this person's personal belongings, their life, the things that they need to be able to survive out here. Um, as our group has found, the city is really, really not wanting to help anyone. Uh, several attempts with uh, shelters, um, like IHS especially, oh man, they put up a fight for helping anyone. Trish here that's supposed to help find housing. She prolongs it just so she makes sure she steals all their stuff and then still doesn't perform anything to help them. Uh, just so they can do this activity here. To go through their personal belongings, steal it from them, hinder them even more than what they already are, you know, have. Because they don't want to have to spend the money that the state actually gave them. They're going out of their way to not perform the duty that was paid, uh, that the city and county was paid to do by the state, and just find another means by pushing them around the island. So if people, if they get them out of sight, out of mind, then they can really start doing the atrocities of kicking their kids out of school, uh, stealing their animals, stealing their belongings, uh, violence anything and everything you can think of towards these people outside of the city limits so people don't see it. You know, it's part of their agenda. It's cheaper and easier for them to be cruel and hateful towards humanity than to realize that the product of society is what put these people in this position to be on the street. It takes uh, 88 hours 88 hours for the average pay here in Hawaii to be able to afford a small studio apartment. So, something for you all to think about is how bad is our debt-based economy affected individuals? You know, your loved ones, your neighbors, your friends. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what Wesley Chun has to say about this. I'm gonna definitely interfere here. Okay. And um, is this? Can we come Sure. Yeah. Feel threatened by society? Making over a hundred and some thousand dollars to beat and steal from people? Don't think the public doesn't notice what you're really doing, Wesley Chung, with your civil engineer job.
Well, don't come to a protest area and think you're going to conduct in a fashion that you can have an interview with an individual like that. A hateful individual. One that steals from humanity. Wrong area for an interview like that, man. Hateful. Look at that. That's all the media wants to care about here? Is what is Wesley Chung with the civil engineer doing stealing stuff and give him a high five. Hashtag Hawaii vacation. I cannot believe this media crew feels that these are the people that they should be interviewing here like this. When they see what's going on right there, they're not even showing what they're doing right now. They're going through these people's personal pr property, stealing from them, harassing individuals, when they should be working on a street. Repairing the freaking road like Ward that's been under a repair order for what, two years now? When are you guys going to do your jobs? It's better to steal from people and harass them. You didn't know that, Nova? Yeah, you know, I mean, Trish there, her job is to find people homes, and here she is stealing from them. And these people want to have an interview with that smiling prick. So, of course, their media is allowed inside. <laughs> Yeah, let's not care what they're doing to the people in this city. Yeah. Thank you for participating in the media campaign. Yeah. Thanks for supporting Fox. We just seen firsthand what the media is like. They don't give. It, they don't care about this. They don't care that that individual isn't helping anybody get off the street or the individual standing next to her is just stealing while he should be fixing a road. All they want to know is that their hard-earned money for the state is doing something. And if they could put a spin on it like Fox News of, oh, we're helping people by this, how is that helping anyone? You guys should be ashamed. All of you should be ashamed. You all stood there with an individual lying to the public and watched the media not care about what they were doing to people here. Every single one of you will go home knowing that you just helped someone stay on the street and hurt them. The money you make is debt money and you just work to put more people in more debt. You didn't do nothing but hurt people with your job today. You don't work for gold or silver, guys. You work for debt. It's what the system is based on. And you're creating more while beating someone down. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, be nice to Wesley Chun. He holds your, your check. He's the one that made you do this to your neighbor, to your friend. And Wes Chung here gets his 30 pieces of silver and carries his little pinky ring in remembrance of such a good job. You guys should all be ashamed of yourselves. All of you. You just watch the media 
cause this. I'm glad you guys think you're doing such a good job here. You're on one of the biggest used streams in this freaking state right now, guys. You have no idea how many friends and neighbors are watching you guys individually. Friends, neighbors, and family is watching you hurt society for nothing. Hey, it's cool, man. You can think it's funny. It's cool. But you know I'm right. One of your friends is going to be sitting out here and you're going to come across them. What you going to do then? Ignore it? You're going to steal your friend's stuff? Your family? Good job, Wes. Good job. Yeah! Yeah, show me say that. It'll be job. Yeah, Adam. I cannot believe how these people act. If you guys ever wondered about the stories about corporate America being true, you just you watched it right about? here. You just watched it. Just like uh, Star Advertiser is done, Civil Beat has done, and now Channel 2 doesn't have a single interview with anybody, the houses community or Occupy Honolulu. They only care about the city officials and corporate America and promoting them to spread a lie of what's really going on. You just watched it. horrible. Thanks for not helping anyone, Trish. Thank you. Job well done. You kept more people on the street. Thank you. What? <laughs> well, no, it's for the, the items that was actually here. Right. So the person, when they go to this location to find their oh, stuff, it okay. gives them... A, oh, a place to yeah. go in the lobby. Right. And go and get it. Yeah, so, so they know what happened with it. Right. Everybody's going to lunch. Lunch time for the city. They can all talk about the great job. Podcast. How's it going? Good job, my man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. You have anything to say? Do you want to be on? Do you have anything to say? I don't want to put people on here with, if they don't. That, okay. It's unjust and then just making poor people poor and uh, he's. Yeah, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to take and uh, cut this out of here. Hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, OHNL and hashtag Hawaii Vacation. Anytime uh, you feel like you want to promote the cause here of what's going on with uh, the city and county of Honolulu making third world areas within this within Hawaii it's horrible all right guys talk to you